My goodness, here we go. I had some challenges this evening with uh, technology, people, and other live streams. I'm going to uh, share this out. I'll be right back. All right, folks, <clears throat> now that we've got a modicum of quiet in the house, my son just got back into town. My wife is upstairs banging around doing dishes. So I'm going to try and play some World of War and uh, World of War 85. And because it's been a couple of months since I had the uh, demo copy or pre-release pre copy out, we're going to go through the sequence of play here and uh, use it to guide us along and uh, take it from there. Play in scenario 20 on Whirlwind and uh, later on, uh, to probably early tomorrow or the next day, I'll release a video that I need to edit up a little bit on the tactics here and the scenario and what's going on and what the goals and objectives are. But to uh, summarize, I'll uh, I'll do it this way and suggest that, let's see here, I'm going to find the towns now. I took the, there's a marker. So one here, area A, area B, area C, those three areas need to be captured by the Soviets. Soviets also need to keep control of this strip of city hexes. If the NATO slash US forces capture these six hexes, hexes at any point during the game in the victory determination phase, <clears throat> we can um, declare victory for, for NATO. Uh, we have paratroopers arriving turn four, five, or six. We have helos arriving on turn eight for the Soviets. That's all for the Soviets. We have CAS for both sides, an A-10 Warthog for the Yanks and uh, Frogfoot for the Soviets. I've got to double check how they get in the game, but we'll work that out in a minute. And uh, let's see, uh, 10 platoons of T-80s coming in uh, turn one when the card is drawn. We've got uh, basically a battalion of infantry and BMP-1s in the lake, swimming. <laughs> uh, and their objectives are obviously to, to take up the ABC locations. Uh, actually, it's A, B, and D, I think. Let's see. Oh, this is the Red Sea. That's right. This <clears throat> location here, we need to get tanks or BMPs off the map. Minimum of eight. Otherwise, uh, there is no victory for, for the Soviets. So, all right. In terms of sequence of play, the initiative phase, uh, I don't believe... Is any specific initiative in this scenario? I'm just going to check. We'll get started, and I need to also check the aircraft rule one more time. All right, I've got this power to drop stuff organized. I'm not seeing anything that says so. We start with initiative, so I think that's goodness. <clears throat> okay, we're also so we are going to put the the A10 in the deck. I'm just going to put it in the deck and shuffle around, shuffle everything around. Looks like the frog foot goes in there as well. I'm make sure that's not a multi-turn option there. No, no, start turn three for that guy. So he comes on turn three. We'll put this here somewhere. Where's the unit actually? Let's do that. Where's my little frog foot guy? I think I've lost him. All right. Well, we'll work it out. I and mean, we're not going to get to turn three tonight anyway. We're going to take our time and I'll have to walk through some of the rules here anyway. So let's flip a card. Uh, the formations deck, there's a place where they go. They go over here. And when they're discarded, they go just to the right. And uh, on the right of this board here, you can see all of the various artillery tracks and stuff like that for us to keep track of ammo and bits and pieces. <clears throat> All right. 
Let's do this. So we're going to flip a card and see who's first. And it is nice. So it's on the attack. So the 336th SHR. Let's see. That's going to be. You know what? Let me just double check that real quick. I want to make sure that's not the healers. Yeah, it is the healers. How about, oh, we'll see. They enter turn eight. So that was easy. That guy does not come on until, until turn eight. That's why I was confused. Next card. <laughs> and it's them again. All right, so there's two of them in there. That's fine. End of operations, always a bad sign for the Soviets. It's a 20 turn scenario, by the way. Task Force Orange. That's these guys up here. A bunch of M1s. I'm going to uh, zoom in here in a second, but whoa, easy there, big time. I, I'm really having challenges with my equipment lately, so I'm just going to try and do this. Put it here like this. And we'll just zoom in a little bit there. There we go. Okay. Uh, if you're joining, just, uh, you know, say hi or whatever the case may be. All right, so it's the operations phase. We've done the initiative phase and we're going to activate the Task Force Orange. Now, they have an interesting little problem because they have an enemy coming out on somewhere along the northern edge, which, you know, they don't, these guys don't have to... You can't see where I'm pointing, I just realized. Sorry about that. Uh, my uh, stand is very, very delicate at the moment. <clears throat> These guys have a bit of a challenge because they've got an enemy potentially coming in anywhere along this northern edge, but they're, they're tasked with sort of capturing this red line of city hexes here. So I'm going to, for the sake of the argument, push most of these forces in here, but I am gonna push one Bradley 